bearings and there is a plug socket there which relates to your hob. Okay. Okay. Right, that's great. Yeah. Perfect. Microwave. Right, thanks for that. Simple yeah. as. Quick start and it'll go up in minutes. I've noticed you've got a, a bit missing on your uh, oh, yes, that's on your dial, so I don't know if you want to have a word with Paul and that when you go back in. Oh, I'll just, yeah. just point that out to him. Other than that, you can press microwave. That's the power level. Yeah. If you press microwave again, there's your timer. Okay. But yeah, I think we will have a word about that screen because you're definitely missing a couple of... Uh, <laughs> and then obviously start and then stop. Okay. Simple as yeah, that. that's... I will take that out. Okay. Only because if you're driving down the road and you hit a pothole or you have to swerve, that jumps out of there and hits this. This yeah. and this is very expensive. Yeah. This that, isn't. That is you can either wrap it in a tea towel or I'll just yeah. need to pop it okay. Makes sense. Yeah, it's a good idea. Okay. Okay, boy. Right. Well, I'm cooking in here. Yeah. Solar panel. Solar panel? Yeah. Oh my Didn't Lord. you know you got them? No. <laughs> a lovely solar panel about here up on your roof. Right. What the solar panel does is gently charge your leisure battery. Fantastic. Yeah. Gently. Gently, yeah. yeah. it's nowhere near the charge of obviously the 240 or nowhere even near the charge off the car when you're driving down the road. What it literally is, it will stop your leisure battery from going flat, flat. Ah, okay. So if you ever flatten your battery to death and there's no life in it, you won't be able to recharge it. So it yeah. just stops killing batteries, just puts enough charge into to, it to, keep to it go. Now, when I first flowing. switched it on, it had no lights on, so it had nothing to do. It goes to sleep. If it's got flashing lights, it's putting half of its power in. If two lights are solid, it's putting all of its power in. Okay. It's as simple as that. But it's like an obedient dog that walks itself, yeah. cleans up after itself, <laughs> feeds itself. You don't have like to switch it. it on and off. It just sits there and it does its job. And the panels are uh, in the, the panels up, the, up here on the roof. I think it's about there. It is up on the roof. So wonderful. There right. You Something okay. new. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Didn't have that. Didn't have that. And then obviously just more storage and the plugs up here, which relates to for your microwave. That, for the microwave, yeah. Okay. okay. Cut the drawer. Yeah. Great. And, and just fridge drawer and yeah. oven. Draining board, chopping board. And obviously yeah, storage with so cans yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Whatever you want. I keep saying cans and I keep getting saying <laughs> Gas shut off valves are just down the side there. There for the individual appliances. There is a sticker there on the door here which lets you know which is which. Okay. Our main advice there if you smell gas, just switch your bottle off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They're more there for a professional if they ever want to remove your hob or your um your fridge yeah, or anything no, so no, they can shut no, off the individual. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great, that's fine. And then obviously fine. more various storage around the top. As I say, lights. Individually switched on and off. Mm. Roof hatch. So I've got this one open here. So it literally is just on a slider. So it just slides and then just pushes up and locks mm, into place. See that? And then to open it, yeah. just push it back down and slide it back up. Brilliant. Simple as that. These wild style ones, they have cleaned it. Everyone says, oh, it's dirty. It's not. They're, they're double pot. They're I mean, words out there, they're split levels. Right. So there's an outside, and this is the internal bit. Uh, you can't, it's a design fault because you can't get in there to clean it. So you, <laughs> you can't get anything in yeah. there. So okay. it, it has been cleaned. It's not. And all you do is just squeeze the handles. They do take a little bit. Okay. And up they go. Yeah. Obviously, try and be gentle. Anything plastic, you know what yeah. it's like. Yeah. And you don't travel with those up? No, 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 no. Always no. close them before, yeah. before you set off. That's fair. Yeah. Right. Okay. Is that that down here? Yeah. 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 yeah, you can yeah, tell that down. You can yeah. always push them and they don't, they don't go anywhere, cool. you know, it's not. Fine. Right, bathroom. So we'll squeeze in. I'll go okay. in the shower. Right. Go on, I'll let you all squeeze in. Yeah. So, yeah. toilet. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you look below the toilet lid, bend down, you see the grey lever there? Yeah. Slide that. Okay. So and now if you open the lid, right. that hole's open oh, now, oh, straight oh. through. If you slide it back, yep. and then look, yep. and it's closed. Yeah, it's closed. So that's okay. how you open and close the toilet. Right, yep. I would recommend only open and closing that with the lid closed. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Because of the yeah, got you. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll leave it at that. I won't go into much more detail. Understand. <laughs> to flush your toilet is literally the blue button on the top. Okay. The longer you hold it the more it'll the flush, more flush, just as simple as that. Okay. And you see the little black bit, it's just on the left hand side of it, on the to lid. Uh, Where so the blue button there, is, yeah. yeah, there, just below there, a little LED light will come on okay. to indicate that the cassette's getting full. So oh, it's okay. time for you that's to toggle off to oh, the toilet. Fantastic. And, uh, and you're filling your, um, your fluid and your pink fluid, whatever from Yeah, from so if side. you imagine that tank sits externally behind here, yeah. so your mm -hmm. tank's in there, sort of Brilliant. thing. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. Yeah. Right, wardrobe behind you now. Okay. This is a bit of a squeeze in here. Mm -hmm. So this oh. is your directional TV aerial. Oh gosh, right. So you can obviously unscrew it. Yeah. And you can point it up in the air, you can move it in whichever direction. Then also the windy bit on the bottom, you can tilt it so it goes from being vertical right. to horizontal. Okay. 
best advice with that is look which way everyone else has got theirs pointed <laughs> and copy them because yeah. it will take you hours to yeah, find the TV signal. That. That's fantastic. Uh-huh. So all that's plumbed into points. And yeah, the so they're the various points that are around the van. You can literally just plug into them and that's where your TV signal. And yeah, and then the, the box with the lights on, which is up on the back wall, is it? Yeah, yeah the back wall there, that's your booster that goes with it. Okay. So as well as the area, it's got a booster box yeah, in there. Nice. Fabulous. Okay, yeah, light switches for your bathroom, just down the side here. Yeah. So if you have a looking for them. Tremendous. And then obviously your shower, mix of taps, the same as your bathroom. And then last thing to show you, the table for your stowaway room. table. Yeah. yeah. All you've got to make sure is that it is fitted in properly you'll see this little catch at the top there oh yeah see that just make sure yeah. that that is down and your table's when not too place. Moving, yeah, yeah so it's not causing any damage and that's it baby that is it wow i noticed there's a speaker system so is that uh, yeah radio you know that all caravans come with the radio right mm. and there's your radio oh my goodness oh, again there's a manual in there for your radio there but yeah, so you've got music system and everything. There and is you've also got an auxiliary, there. Yeah, auxiliary. Yeah, for yeah, oh. yeah, there you go. Modern day, modern day, and everything. Happy and days, happy days. days. I didn't know that, that's fantastic. And the speaker's just two there, and uh, I think it's just the two in here. Yeah. Some have them in the bathroom. No, it looks oh, like so just yeah, your two oh, at the front. Do, that so. That's <laughs> tremendous. Got Windows. Okay. So all of them are the same. Fly screen. Oh, it says fly screen. Yeah. And then your blackout as well. And that's the same all the way around, all your windows right. are the same. Apart from the ones above you, which come from the sides. So blackout, yeah. fly screen. Yeah. The only one that's just blackout is the sunroof. Because oh, it right. doesn't open, you see. Yeah. So it doesn't need a fly and screen. Just yeah, just literally pull it down. Yeah. yeah. That's a blackout. That's a blackout. Yeah. 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 Tremendous. Great. Obviously various light switches. There's two above your head on the white strip light. One yeah. does the strip light. The other one does the ones above the cupboard here. All the okay. silver spotlights are individually yeah. switched on. Fabulous, yeah, mm-hmm. reading lights. And then obviously the one above my head as well is individually switched on. Yeah. Well, that's made it real.